I'm not anyone's slave, oh man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, I know who you are, boy. It would seem that the cub doesn't stray far from the wolf. You are indeed the son of Duratan. Uh, who is that? Taboo, and welcome back to another episode of Games You Never Played. I'm your host, Gaming Jay, and today we are continuing our playthrough of Warcraft Lord of the Clans. This is the adventure game that Blizzard created but never released. And uh, if you watched the last video, you saw that there were some hilarious incomplete dialogue options where somebody, I don't know if it was Blizzard or the hackers who released this, but they basically used some text-to-speech programs to basically just produce read a couple of lines and it was hilarious um it was hilarious hearing grom hell scream of all characters talking like stephen hawking uh anyway we've been given a task of becoming the chieftain of the frost wolves or some junk like that i don't know i guess we should do it and in order to do so we have some magical scrolls blah 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 i'm an orc of action not of thinking so i say let go let go to new place and do thing so, we have been given these scrolls, we gotta figure out a way to solve them. And, uh, off we go. So, like every good, uh, adventure, we always have to go back to Durnhold. We've gone back here, like, five different times, I think. It's actually, uh, actually kind of crazy how often we keep coming back here. But anyway, uh, we need to go back up, obviously, to the, uh, Dwarvish area here. Um... Let's see, walk north. Use bone with bridge skull. I think finally we want to go over here. And uh, this is where we found that one orc who committed suicide by stabbing himself in the face with a spear. And we're actually, oops, going to take our bone and our bone scroll and combine them. And use them on the Bridge. Oh, bridge time, baby. Oh my god, it's a exercising demon. <laughs> that demon was in the middle of uh, his workout routine, and then we turned him into bones. That is possibly one of the most satanic looking bridges of all time. I mean, no wonder everyone assumes the orcs are evil. Frankly, they got a bit of a PR problem here. Um, all right. And here we go. Oh, this is all automatic. I'm not doing anything at this point. But. Oh, still automatic. I'm, I'm peeping. Doing a bit of peeping. Oh my god, a, a demon dog. <laughs> The animations feel so slow and low stakes. It's like pretty funny. Who is this guy? You best call this beast off if you value its life. <laughs> I'm not accustomed to taking orders from a slave. I'm not anyone's slave. Oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I know who you are, boy. It would seem that the cub doesn't stray far from the wolf. You are indeed the son of Duratan. Uh, who is that? Who are you, old one? How do you? Or, who are you, old one? How do you? Uh, this one. Who are you, old one? <laughs> How do you know me? I am known as Doomhammer. Your father and I were once... How do you get a cool name like Doomhammer or Hellscream? I feel like human names are rather uncreative. They're like Jeff. Or like Terry. Doomhammer! What if I was named Gaming Doomhammer? Would you guys... I feel like my channel would be way bigger than it is right now. Jay is such a boring name. I mean, compared to Doomhammer. Now come inside, and we'll talk a little... Treason. Treason.
As I said, your father and I were like brothers. Long before the Horde ever came to this world, we fought side by side against our enemies on Draenor. There was a third member of our brotherhood, an ambitious warrior by the name of Blackhand. In a blood oath, we three swore our allegiance to one another and to the Horde. We vowed to advance the Horde's destiny with fearlessness and honor. Unfortunately, there were darker, more sinister forces at play. Gul'dan and his Shadow Council meant to dominate the Horde through deceit and subtle... Hey, Gul'dan, he's a warlock in Hearthstone. The treacherous Gul'dan saw weakness in the power-hungry Black Hand. A weakness that was used to corrupt the War Chief forever. Your father, Duratan, was much wiser than I. He began to suspect that Black Hand was being used as a pawn even before the First War. But before he could act on his suspicions, Gul'dan arranged for your father and his clan to be dispatched to the Northlands of Azeroth to await further orders. They have remained there in exile to this day, waiting. Yes, but your father remembered his oath to his brothers and the Horde. After learning that Blackhand had become war chief, he tried to return to warn me of Gul'dan's treachery. As he made his way back, he was ambushed by assassins dispatched by Gul'dan and Blackhand. His entire family was slaughtered. All of course, but you... It was then that I was found by the humans? Who were these assassins? If you know, you must tell me now! It was the twin sons of Blackhand himself, Rend and Mame. It can't be! These are the two dogs that are planning an alliance with the human slave drivers! Yes. Hellscream has told you of their crimes against our kind. They have a despicable plan to keep the Horde weak and divided. I will find these traitorous mongrels and I will tear out their blackened hearts with my own hands! Oh, he's getting mad. Stay calm, boy. The Horde needs just such a firebrand in its face to stir it from its stupor. We must use Rend and Mame's treachery to awaken the Horde and reunify the clans. Unite the clans. Hellscream has planned for a meeting of those clans still loyal to the Horde. Soon, when the signs are right, we will exact our revenge on both Rend and Mame and their cursed human allies. I've got to do something now. What you must do now, boy is to continue on your quest and seize the mantle of your clan's leadership. When the time is right, Hellscream will send for you. Be ready. What the? Why did bloody hands just fall out of the thingy? All right, let's uh, take a few dwarf scalps. Just FYI, if you're on the side that drinks tea out of human skulls and plants heads on pikes and scalps, I mean, I'm not saying the orcs are inherently evil, but it's not a good look, you know? Like, say what you will about the humans. They're not necessarily drinking out of orc skulls. Or maybe they are. Maybe everyone's evil in World of Warcraft. Maybe just in the World of Warcraft, you know, skulls are just the cheapest form of uh, beverage container. I don't know. But anyway... Um, all right, let's get out of here. Let's keep going, and I think we it's time to just get out of here. Climb. It's interesting how we keep coming back to this one place. This one place really does feel like a bit of a hub world, because we keep coming back to it so much. All right, to the aviary! I wonder if we're going to go anywhere else. Like, the map, there's so many unexplored places on the map. I don't know how much further there is to go, but I feel like we're kind of stuck in this one little corner. What happened here? Like a dead pigeon or something. Um, okay. So, apparently, we use a dead dwarf's scalp on a shapeshift scroll. We can then turn ourselves into a dwarf. Again, not saying orcs are evil, but these things are kind of evilish actions. <laughs> now we're mini thrall. It's actually hilarious. 
A suspiciously green dwarf. Well, it's a boot time. I see you managed to get off your bum and show up. You must be the new hammersmith. I hope you're better than the last one. <laughs> you should have seen what the captain done to him. Aye, he'll be having a hard time removing that hammer from its new home. Yikes. Oh, I poor devil will never walk right again. Are they saying he shoved the hammer up his butt without right, saying it as many words? Your work. The captain's upset with you as it is. All right. Well, before I get to work, let me just screw up this thing. There we go. What the hell are you playing at? You've wasted our last bolt, you stupid git. Well. Let me go get it then, I guess. Do do do. Well, it fired far, actually. Zanarga, my. Wait. Uh, did I want to do that? If I need to go back, I'll just reactivate the spell. I don't need the scroll. Oh, thank God. <laughs> I was gonna say. Uh, I don't know if I was done being a uh, being a mini dwarf. Yeah. Okay, I just got a thing. What did I get? I got a shaft. Okay. Um. Well, now let's uh, go back in dwarf form. Best get to work, laddie. How about I just go up here and ignore you? What is that guy doing? Angrily trying to bend a stick. Hope you're a better hammersmith than the last wee bugger they sent. This is what's left of the last hammer he made for me. You might be asking yourself what happened to the rest of it. Well, I guarantee you'll find out if you don't get into that forge and make me a new one. Yikes. Okay. Forge is this way, I assume? Um, fire pit, shovel. Can I take the shovel? Pick up shovel. Okay. Well, and there was something I was supposed to do before I even did that. Get to work. Like, what's up here? Ah, this is what I wanted. Pick up a few extra cannonballs. You should always have a set of these. Oh, yes. How about I pick up three of them? Just lugging around three cannonballs in my pocket. I mean, he needs a backpack or something. This is just getting ridiculous. And let's take a powder keg. Can we take a full one? Or is that just too crazy? I'm not carrying around a full keg of explosives. But you're carrying around three cannonballs? All right, whatever. All right, back to actually doing our job here before anyone gets too suspicious. All right, we got the shovel. We also need some charcoal. Go ahead and grab some of that. Okay, now we want to use our cannonballs with the melting pot. Oh, in there. Chuck him up in there. I like this little uh, dwarf thrall. It's actually kind of funny. There we go. Melting down some cannonballs. Um, and then let's use our keg here. I think we're going to create a giant hammer. And then we're going to pull on the handle, which is over here. We're gonna make the mother of all hammers. Oh, look, that sort of- that almost looks 3D, not animated. Oh, it just melted into the- okay, the keg is now part of the thingy. And now, how about we use a shaft on this? So, shove that shaft in to the soft part. I'm sorry, that's just, uh, that's just crude. 
Boom! Oh, into the water. There we go. Now that's a hammer. I'd be proud to wield this in battle myself. Completely structurally stable, I am sure. Um, alright, sir. Did you order one gigantic, comically oversized hammer? Now that's one huge gargantuan hammer! I believe it's the finest weapon ever to be carried into battle! You've done an amazing job, lad! Oh, I can't wait to smash someone's skull to bits with this! Strap me on a griffin and get out of my way! <laughs> okay. Can we follow him? Um, I don't know if we're supposed to yet. I'm just curious. You can't really die in this, uh... Adventure, it seems. Oh, there's griffins up here. Okay, some tells me they're gonna peck at us if we try and, uh... Try and, try and go at them, so instead... Kinda wanna save the game, but... I forget how to bring up the menu. I'm afraid if I press escape, the game's gonna quit and we're gonna lose all this progress. But instead, we're just gonna keep playing. It kind of feels like flying without- or jumping out of an airplane without a parachute to- to play a game like this and not... ...be saving as you go, you know, but, um, what can you do? Anyway, alright, I think we're done here. We've done enough damage to the Griffin Aviary. Time to, uh, head back to the Frost... Wolf Settlement. Right. Oh, it's nice that it drops us off right in here so we don't have to do the uh, shield thing anymore. Um, alright. So, let's go west and west. Uh, here? No, wait. Where do we want to go? So hold on, we want to get out of here. We want to go up to the, uh, up to the snow beast area, then west and west. There we go. Um, now, hell scream and scroll. Uh, nah. Hell scream and uh -uh. scroll. No, wait. Hell scream. There we go. Oh, look at that. Now we have a picture of our own face. Um, and now what we can do is use that on that. Phantom image. Okay. Now we can get out of here. And now... We want to go back to our Zeppelin. It does a lot of this where it's like you have to go back to like one area really quickly to just do <laughs> to uh, do something small and then go back to the new area. So there's like a lot of backtracking, but for like one specific thing, it seems. Um, all right, so let's go back up here. Excuse me, mates. I must say that the Gavin's hammer is a work of art. Just a couple of melted down cannonballs, guys. Don't go crazy. What is in here, by the way? We haven't checked out this room. Ah, the female <laughs> gnomes. They also have giant beards. You've got to be the new hammersmith around here. If you ever need any help with your uh, tools, I'd be glad to give you a hand. Ooh, free hand job. Um, let's see. Uh, what kind of work's done here? Most of the girls make leather harnesses, straps, and whips. <laughs> Me. I'm in charge of making shields. Do you need a shield for anything, Hanson? I, uh, um, uh... Um... My, what a fine, healthy beard you've got. Oh, thank you. You should see my back. Uh, Gross. That's okay. I'd rather see what you're working on there. Oh, I'm just cleaning the shield. Apparently, there's a chicken's beak stuck in the plating. The dwarf who brought it to me was rambling on about chickens falling from the sky. 
Hmm. All right. Well, there's really there's nothing to do with uh, these humans. I wonder. Like, I feel like maybe they could have expanded this eventually and made more of the characters relevant and like more things. But it's like some characters are just totally dead ends, and there's just like no point to them. Um. All right. So we're going to use this on. Griffin. That's weird. I just teleported over. Oh, he's like, hey, the hell is this? <laughs> he's like doing a crazy dance. Okay, and now we can take this egg while nobody is looking. Oh, yeah, Griffin egg. And now, how do we get out of here? Um, we just casually walk out. It's Ocean's uh, Eleven style, man. You just, we're just gonna walk right out the front door like nothing ever happened. Need some Ocean's Eleven style tunes as we make this great getaway. All right. I guess we'll pass on the hand job and we'll just carry on with our mission here. I mean, she had a beard. And she was very furry. <laughs> like getting one from Chewbacca. I'm sorry, we're going real vile today. It's all vile. Um, anyway, we've turned back into orc mode. And now let's get the hell out of here. Huzzah! Off we go. Am I gonna have a griffin? That would be pretty cool. Eventually they give me a griffin. I mean, I do have an egg. I could try and hatch it. All right. Hello! What happened? This cave got huge. Um, talk. I will not fail you. You are the war chief now, Thrall. You can't afford to fail. Oh, I am the- it just happened? I'm just the war chief? This is no time for idle discussions. Okay. What am I supposed to do? Maybe if I had some salt. What salt? Um. Okay. So, I'm the war chief. That was a little unceremonious. Wait, where am I? Wait, what happened? Wait. <laughs> Is there a missing cutscene of some kind? What the hell happened? Where the hell am I? Um. Okay. Let's go back to the Zeppelin, I guess. What is this? A stick? No, nope, nothing. Vulture? I hate vultures. Why? Seem like kind of cool birds to me. Oh my god, that like grabbed him by the neck. Alright, so now we have Kazmodan. I guess that's where we are now. Grim Battle. And we can go to Alex Straza's cave. Alex Straza is a great dragon, isn't she? Ooh, look at this. Diamonds. Uh, oh, scales. All right, let's take these. We'll melt them down into a hammer. Oh, okay. oh he's picking them all up. That's smart, actually. Dragon scales have to be of some value. They seem hard to get, if nothing else. Hey, a buried chest? I got just the thing. It's pirate booty time. Shoveling like me old mates. And, ooh, what is that? Exotic outfit. I will take it. Not one to turn down fancy clothes. Can I wear this? Hmm. It's not my style. <laughs> That's a shame. Um, let's see. Okay, I guess now we're going back to the Griffin aviary. There's so much backtracking, so much random backtracking, because it's like, we're going to come right back to Alex Straza after this. You guys realize. What is happening? Funny how they have like a little comical way for him to get on the ladder every single time. All right, here. We're going to head in this way. Excuse me, mates. Okay, Master Hammersmith. I must say that the Gavin's hammer is a work of art. Aye, 
Not being able to skip these redundant dialogues lines is a little annoying. Uh, actually, I guess there is a point to this. I thought this was just a dead end, but uh Hey, honey. What can I do for you? It is not. Um, so here. I'll, uh... Oops, didn't mean to do that. I just wanted to get out of the dialogue. Hey, honey. What can I do for you? Uh, nothing. I'll uh, let you lasses get back to work. I'm here to give you sexy closings. Oh, it's beautiful. It looks like I picked the right day to braid my armpits. Ew. What have I done? What's that? I said, um, uh, try it on. Uh, make me a shield, baby. Make me the happiest dwarf. Okay, hold on. What do I want to say? Um, automatically give shields to shield maiden. Make me a shield, baby. Sure, honey pie. Just give me your old shield and whatever else you'd like me to add to it. Ah, okay, here's the shield. And... I'm going to give you dragon scales. Oh, dragon scales. I can make a fine shield with them. Now, leave the room, honey. I want this... I didn't click anything there. Just cut off mid-dialogue. And he just waits in the hall. Ooh, all right, sweet biscuits. Sweet biscuits. All right, give me my shield. Woo! Oh God! <laughs> Surprised, honey. Oh my goodness! Like shocked. What is she wearing? Oh my God! <laughs> oh man! Wait, what happens if we go back in there? I I just gotta know. <laughs> is she still dressed like that? No. Ah, uh, I mean, you know. Hey. I'm not that disappointed, but still, it's pretty funny. Bathing, shaving, and losing about a hundred pounds would be a start. Oof. <laughs> oh, you're such a teaser. <laughs> All right. Well, anyway, we got our dragon scale shield, and we got a little bit of a show. So, I think it's time to uh, leave these dwarves to their business. Guys, there is a very voluptuous shield lady in there. You guys should hit that. She's totally open to it, it seems. My. We're, turn we're just an orc, though, as it turns out. Tell her it's nothing personal. All right, heading back to Alex Strava's, Alex Straza's cave. So I think we needed that dragon shield so we can actually get up to Alex Straza. My guess is she's going to breathe fire at us. That's just my guess. Let's see. Um, oh, there we go. I was like, how do we keep walking? Oh, hello, dragon. Woo! Woo! That's hot. <laughs> nice try. I am immune to fire. Consider yourself lucky. No orc has ever survived my flame. Now, tell me, orgling, what brings you here? Oh. I go where the action is. Do you intend to fight me, little orgling? Uh, uh, no, no. Uh, I was just kidding. That's what I thought. Um. Are you the Dragon Queen, Alex Straza? I am she. Who would you be? I am Thrall, chieftain of the Frostwolf clan. I have come to ask for your aid. Surely you know of the atrocities your race has committed against both me and my children. Why should I help you? Maybe we can help each other. What would you presume to do for me? Well, she got very demonic there. <laughs> I'll vanquish your most hated enemy. <laughs> One pathetic orgling would accomplish little against any of my enemies. But to make such an offer, you must be desperate. Very well. 
if you hunt down and destroy the creature known as Deathwing... Deathwing? I'll consider your request. Who is this Deathwing? He is the greatest of my sons. A malicious and cunning black dragon who attempts to overthrow my rule at every turn. His hatred for me has left his heart as impenetrable as the adamantine plates he wears. He is an extremely dangerous foe. And you think that I can slay him? No, I don't. But thinking of you confronting him at the pinnacle of Black Rock Spire is quite amusing. Go now. You tire me. Alright, so suicide mission. Let me just take this lantern if you don't mind, and I will be on my way. Alright, so we gotta figure out a way to kill Deathwing, who is like... I don't know much about Warcraft, but I know he's like one of the more difficult, uh, <laughs> most powerful creatures. So, I don't know what, how we're gonna do that. Um, but, there's Black Rock Spire. We're not gonna go there yet. First, let's go to Grim Batal. Phosphorus Eels. Can we take those? Are those just up for grabs? Nope. Too slippery. I need something to hold them in. Oh god. Oh. <laughs> okay, I just teleported out of that. Um Oh wait. This is where I want to be. Use the lantern on the eels. Ah wow, that's actually funny. Funny I just noticed them and that was actually the thing we came here to do. Um, okay, now... Whoa! Help me! That thing's just waiting for someone to get too close. Hmm, I wonder if that's like a hint for later. Um, alright. Getting out of here. Um... We're going into this skull crypt thing over here. And... That place looks inviting. Just go right on in. Uh, anyone alive in there? Again, not saying the orcs are evil, but these are the kinds of places they like to hang out. Just, uh, you know. An observation. Anyone down there? Maybe. When your summer home is in the rotted out corpse of a dead giant. You know, and the pillars are his ribs. It just, it might be something to think about. Um. Okay. Ooh, look at this. The door. Um, let's go ahead and try and open this door. Door to the underworld. Only good things can come out of this, right? Okay. And what we got going on in here? Oh yeah. Oh, what a <laughs> This looks. Totally not scary as anything. Death to all who would steal from the damned. Um. Okay. Oh my God. Who dare disturb my slumber. The mysteries of the damned will only curse you for eternity. Leave this place and never return. Oh, his arm just oh, fell off. Get out. Whoa. Ow. Well, let's go back in. Not I'm I've never been one to just listen to what I'm supposed to do. Go in here and we're gonna take this hand. Now I've got your hand, bro. I could always use an extra hand. Wah, wah. And now we're gonna do this. And all right. Now we can walk. Hey, can we open the script? Oh, we totally can. Oh. Oops. <laughs> um. All right. Let's uh. Let's get out of here. Climb out of here. 
and we're gonna head back to the swamp and let's see if we can get this octopus creature most impressive well but summoning a death knight will be your doom what did you hope to accomplish <laughs> Oh, quickly, give me my scepter. I'll grant you eternal life. I'll give you anything. Just give it to me. Give it to me. <laughs> That's actually kind of funny. Alright. Well, now we can, uh... Wait, did his scepter... It got sucked in with him? Damn it, I wanted to pick up that scepter. Um, I think, though, now we can go into the skull crypt. He's not going to be there to stop us messing with his stuff. Let's see. It's my guess, anyway. And... Alright. Let's take his stuff! So what did we just get there? Decay scroll. Okay. Um, anything else here? Hold on. Wait, what is that? Books. Anything good in there? The skull keeps glimmering, which makes me, uh, think there's something that I should take there, but, okay, I don't see anything else. And there's nothing in here, right? There's not much left to disturb here. Okay. So we can use these two things together to activate our decay spell. And now I th think we're ready to fight good old Deathwing. We'll just make him rot from the inside with our decay spell. And then we'll have the favor of Alex Straza. And then I don't know what that gets us. Good stuff, I guess. I guess when you have the Dragon Queen on your side, the world is your oyster. All right. Well, I wanted to use the decay spell on, you know, Deathwing himself, but I guess I'll just use it on his overgrown yeah, garden here. Decay. All right now, I have no idea how we're going to actually beat this thing. Maybe we'll talk our way out of this problem. All right, and we go. Um, let's see. Where do we go from here? Walking through the cave. Hello? Oh, there's like trolls and stuff here. What up, dudes? They look like trolls, but their skins are modeled in gray. What's the master up to now? 15, 20 cows a day? Well, at least 20. He can really put him away. With a belly like he's got, I'm surprised that he can still fly. Yeah, well, I heard that mm, cows. All the best things are made out of cows. Burgers, steaks. Let's get moving. Etc. All right, so these guys are trolls who work for Deathwing. Admirable life positions. Um, alright, so there's a dead cow. Let's, uh... <laughs> I like how this one cow is giving us the evil eyes. Don't worry, buddy, we're not gonna do anything to you. We're just gonna do a little choppy-choppy on this dead guy, if you don't mind. Alright, now, um... Let's see what's going on with this guy. I told you, buddy, we're gonna cut you up, we're cutting the other cow. Oh my god, wait, what? Uh... <laughs> wait. Why were there goblins in that evil-looking cow? What is happening? Oh, and then... Wait. <laughs> Did I get the idea to go in a cow from seeing that... What? 
So now, what, I get to get eaten by Deathwing? What a great plan. What a great master plan. I mean, I guess obviously it's just to get us in the throne room with him. But what if he just eats us right away? A oh, great master plan. Hide in your enemy's food. Nothing can go wrong there. Alright, there's Deathwing. Smoking his giant dragon sized hookah pipe. Getting stoned. Hey, get out of the cow, man. Time to get out of the cow. Thrall. <laughs> Dude! He's if he chews it all, you're dead. Oh, he just swallowed it like a duck. Okay. Well, how does that help us now? <laughs> oh good, now we're in. We are now in Deathwing. Okay, well, I mean, this is actually better than trying to fight it head on. We're in stomach juices. Posterior orifice. That's his butthole. Um. Okay, let's fish around and see what we can find in this acid before it burns us to death. This looks familiar somehow. Hmm. It might be a dead knight's head, man. Property of Ogden's Tavern. What has what has Deathwing been eaten? Been eating, I wonder. Hey, a flying pig. I'll keep this. Hey, we have a jetpack now. Anything else? Let's see. It's marked with the letter M. Interesting. I'm just curious what else we're gonna find in here. No, just same stuff. This All right. This probably stuff. smells awful, to be mm. frank. Um, okay, we are gonna use this on his gas tube. The trap would be no help there. No? Use trap on tube. Get over here. Oh, uh, let's use it, uh... Trap. There we the go. Would be no the trap, the trap, the trap. No. The that's not gonna. That's. Huh. The, the tutorial says to use a trap on the tube. Maybe I have to go out the the rear end. The trap would be no. Help. The trap would be. Um. No what am I missing? Um. Oh, I need the jetpack on first. All right. Whoa, whoa! Oh, that's handy. And now we can do this? The trap would be no- Oh. Oh, God. Okay. Is he gonna cough us up? Or is he straight up gonna die? We coughed up a whole orc. An orc in months. Who are you? I am called Silence. Oh, I know the voice. I've wasted enough of my precious time on you. Now prepare yourself for oblivion. He's gonna blow up. Oh God. He did explode! The voice of Deathwing and the voice of the Chieftain is a uh, megabyte. I'll talk about this in a second. No one has ever challenged Deathwing to single combat and won. How have you accomplished his death? Well, I grabbed him by the neck and uh, threw him to the floor. Then I gouged out his eyes and pulled his brains out through his nostrils. Really? You are truly a remarkable orc. And although it pains me greatly, I am indebted to you. I will uphold my end of the bargain and summon dragons to aid you in your fight. Yeah! Yeah! Woo -hoo -hoo. Hey, I knew you'd turn up eventually. I hear you've made quite a name for yourself. Well, I guess you're off to do that uh, hero stuff. Yeah, good luck, Thrall. Oh, hey, remember, if you ever need me for anything, 
You'll have to find me first. <laughs> Loyal to the end, huh? You'd better get going. Things are going to get a little hot around here pretty soon. Oh, we're giving up our ride? The prison, and I don't want you and your Zeppelin getting caught in the middle. Thanks for your help, Gaslow. Now take off! Hey, troll. Give me a dab for the road, will you? <laughs> will you just get out of here? <laughs> you rascal, you. Hurry. Okay. I guess I'm just walking from now on. Um, the voice of the dragon and I think of the chieftain of my village was an Sounds actor I'll never make it who played dark. Megabyte. So I, I, I guess this, there's still stuff happening in here. I'll, I'll, I'll talk about Megabyte in a second. Okay, I'm in control now. Megabyte from an old Canadian series called Reboot. Great series. It was about a bunch of computer, uh, like, bytes and bits that lived... They are called sprites. That lived inside a computer, and when a user loaded a game, a giant cube would fall from the sky, and the, the characters would try and get in that cube... And then they had to beat the user, otherwise that area of the computer was nullified. And all the characters were sort of erased or turned into nulls. And there was a computer virus in the story that was the bad guy who lived in the computer with the good guys. And he, his name was Megabyte. And I'm pretty sure it's the same voice that we've been hearing. Um, so I'm glad I kind of thought of that. Oh man, it was driving me crazy as to who that voice was. I think I'm right. I might not 100% be right, but I think I am. But anyway, we'll go with it. Uh, reboot, great series. If you've never heard of it, you should check it out. Although I have no idea how to watch it these days. It's, it's Canadian, so it's not on many streaming services. But anyway, okay, what do we do here? Um, let's... How about we just jetpack our way in? Get ready to fly. Yeah! Like the Rocketeer. Your meat. Your meat. How about your... Axe! Let me axe you if you like meat! Oh, God! Hey, we're back where we began. This thing's almost out of fuel. Hey! You're not allowed down there! You're the slave one escaped! You stay where you are! Well, how about this, buddy? Do you like... explosives? Um... Let's, uh... Send him a little treat. Stuff it with fur, light it. Hey, I didn't tell him to use the lighter. He's using objects without my consent. <laughs> Kablam! See, those explosions looked really real compared to the cartoony look of uh, everything else. That's the signal! Victory to the horde! <laughs> robble, 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 robble. Oh, we even got a dragon, yo. You guys are done. Oh, here it comes. The end of times for the humans. I hate these cowardly weapons. But this could prove useful. Yes. Guns and projectiles are useful. What was that explosion? Uh, we're under attack! Sound the alarm! They must be meeting in the war room. I'd better hurry. Who goes there? How are these guards, like, just not noticing me, just running right in front of them? Well? Rend and Maim. Somehow, I remember them. I remember it all. Do we have a deal or not? We do indeed, gentlemen. Blackmore. I should have known that he'd be the one behind this. All three of my worst enemies gathered together under one roof. Convenient. I, that is my uh, organization, agrees to pay you the sum of 5,000 gold per month in perpetuity. You will be given free reign to conduct your activities without fear of alliance prosecution in the lands between Dunmodra and Stratholm. And you... We will crush all attempts by renegades, such as the pathetic Warsong clan, 
to remobilize the Horde against the Alliance. And we will provide the Alliance with 100 Orc slaves per month. And you're sure per month? This That's a lot. Pacify the dissenters. Yes, we paid the gnomes a fortune to produce the black ale. Any orc that drinks it will be stripped of his will and fighting spirit, and none can resist its effects. I think you underestimate your own kind. What makes you believe all orcs will be susceptible? To this That's their master plan: get all the orcs drunk. We've been testing it for months in the settlements. Although some orcs were able to resist the effects of our first batch, we have at last brewed an ale that e even the strongest orc cannot withstand. See for yourself. I think he oh, just God. did. Hellscream. No. Talking to commuter voice. Come on. More drink. Ah. Uh. More. Any more questions? So now, the oath. Blood oath time, baby. Oh, he's like popping a vein. He's like serious about it. Take the knife and spill your blood into the bowl, human. Human. Then will we accept your final oath? Pink skin. Lieutenant Blackmore, sir? I told you I was not to be disturbed. Yes, sir, but we're under attack. Rally the footmen, and have the crews prepare the catapults. I'll be there momentarily. Uh, gentlemen, <laughs> we'll have to continue this uh, later. No! The pact must be sealed now! What's the rush? Alright, well... I think hey, the animation style looks totally different all of a sudden. Um, okay, so we did that. Now, let's fire. They, they just didn't, aren't noticing these arrows flying into the room. Jink, jink. Like, that fire just looks so out of place. Ah! Oh, God, oh, those orcs are burning up. Grum, get out of here. Thrall. Go, go. Run, Grom, run. You probably don't recognize me. I was wrapped in a swaddling cloth on the day you murdered my father, Duratan. Duratan? Yes, you remember. The two of you attacking a lone orc who was trying to defend his family. Impossible! We left no one alive that day! Wrong! You left me alive! I won't make the same mistake with you. You're going down. Douse the flames! We'll give you anything you want! How about... The scroll's not prepared. Um, how about... Join us! We could use someone with your skills! We do this. And we damn them to hell. 22 years ago, you killed my father and my family. Now you've returned to sell out your race and your pride. Death's cold embrace would be too good for traitorous scum like you. I condemn you to living hell for all eternity. Damnare! Talgardala! That's hardcore, man. Burnus, Evanor! Oh, man. Scary, actually. Oh, they're melting. I mean, not that they deserved any better, but this is a little scary, no? Yikes. Blackmore! There's one thing worse than death, it's never dying. Face me, coward! Nowhere to run now, Blackmore! I treated you as fairly as the other slaves. Fairly? You treated us like animals, worse than animals. I'm going to make sure that you never terrorize another of my kind again. No, don't kill me, Thrall. Don't kill me. I'll shut down the settlements. I'll free the orcs in my charge. Anything. Look at yourself. 
Your precious stronghold is burning down around your ears, and all you can do is beg. Understand me, Blackmore. You're finished. Your twisted scheme is over. Oh, but he spared him. You deserve the honor of a warrior's death. You are nothing to me. Don't you turn your back to me, slave. Ah, ah, ah. Whoa! And like this, you are just animals. Animals. Well. <laughs> Bad guys always fall from great heights. It's like the, tr the classic movies, video games. They always like fall to their death. Lord of the Clans. Feels like music is missing here. Just with no sound, it feels just very like, you know, not anticlimactic, but like monoclimactic? I don't know. Anyway, we did it! <laughs> That's the end. The unceremonious end of the game. It was it was an unreli an unfinished game, guys. Um you know, like a leaked beta or whatever that we're playing here. Obviously, there's so many sound glitches and stuff. My one regret! Is that we didn't get to hear Stephen Hawking Grom Hell scream again? That was the best surprise of the entire game. Um, I I just need more of that in my life, but I guess I guess that's it. Um, Warcraft Lord of the Clans here. What did you guys think of it? I think um, you know I had always heard growing up that there was a Warcraft adventure game that was coming out, and I was anticipating it, and then it was canceled. And I always thought, well, that's a bummer, especially if it was almost finished. Just finish it and release it. But having played it now after all these years, I think I can safely say Blizzard made the right decision to cancel it. It's not that it's a bad game, and it's not that they didn't do a good job of it, but by the time this game was coming out, this game would have seemed incredibly dated, and I think it would have hurt Blizzard's reputation a bit. If this game had come out like five years before its target release date, I think it would have been a, you know, a game that people quite enjoyed. But just the sort of zeitgeist of where things were going and stuff. It just wasn't the right time for this game. I think even nowadays, it's it might be okay to release something like this. But, I mean, uh, one, one big thing. Even if they fixed all the sounds and stuff, I feel like the animations were, like, slow and not super exciting. So they needed to, like, tighten those up quite a bit. Make the animations run a bit smoother, a bit faster. Um... There were some funny jokes throughout the whole thing at different points, and I appreciate that uh, the humor seemed decent. Um, it, was, it was a very creative game. It was kind of cool. I, I really love that we got to play it, but I understand why this isn't an official Blizzard release and probably just couldn't have been due to the time it was uh, released, you know? Uh, but I don't know. Those, those are just my thoughts. So what do you guys think? Should this game have actually come out? Uh, should Blizzard have actually just released it? Would you have loved it? Do you think, like, to hell with what was popular at the time? This is a good game that should have seen the light of day. Let me know in the comments down below. And as always, guys, I hope you did enjoy this look at a little corner of almost forgotten gaming history. If you did like this, don't forget to like the video, share it, uh, comment, all that good stuff. And other than that, I will catch you guys in the next one. So until next time, my friends, this is Gaming J saying taboo and peace and don't enslave orcs and we will catch you in the next one alrighty guys peace duratan duratan yes duratan uh who is that